Hey guys, it's Mark. Welcome to Speed Shooter, and today I'm going to show you a massive bundle that's appeared with some of the most realistic assets I've actually seen from Humble Bundle. Now, remember, these are for Unreal Engine, but today, before you quit off and you say to me, well, this is no good for me, I can't use them anywhere else. Now, I'm going to show you how you can import all of these assets into Unity. I've got one premium way, which is an asset you would have to purchase, but it does an absolutely incredible job of taking in the scene directly from Unreal and putting it into whether you want it in HDRP, URP, or the just the normal built-in render pipeline. It does an amazing job. It'll take animations, characters, models, textures, everything across. I don't know how it does it. So what we're going to do is go from this Unreal Engine scene, which is the abandoned hospital, which has every single awesome asset and everything. And as if by magic, we will import this all into Unity with every single asset, material, light, texture, and everything exported out, even all LODs and everything. It won't be perfect and it won't come with all the custom lighting and post-processing effects. You'd have to add them yourself, but comes with all of the prefabs built out too. So this asset here is the exporter for Unreal to Unity. And I did get this in a bundle at some point quite recently. So this is around $50. And of course, as, like I said, this is the premium version to do it. And it does export characters, animations, special effects, and, and loads and loads of stuff. And it's supported in Unreal Engine 5. 5.3 and 4.27 and it does get updated quite often and you can export to URP, HDRP or the built-in render pipeline. So when you've got this, you can import this or add this to any Unity project once you've downloaded it or paid for it or you might already have it. You'll then get yourself a zipped folder which comes with content resources, sources, documentation and the actual plugin itself. I've created my own folder called Unreal to Unity and I've got all the files that were extracted from that zip folder and they're all in there. Also do remember you can use Unreal Engine assets as long as they're not made by Epic Games in other engines and I do have a full video about that too if that's something that you're worried about and I'll put the link down below. And also be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So say you want to actually import the assets into Unreal Engine to be able to use the plugin, you need to launch Unreal Engine in the top right corner. Then you really want to create a blank scene. It'll usually be on games, blank scene. And you want to make sure that it's a C++ project. This is what it actually needs to use this plugin. So you can choose where the project location is and name it something. And this is where you will add those assets to that you want to actually be able to use. So you can just click create. And then once it's done, you can close Unreal Engine out because you've just got that fresh scene ready to import assets. And now once you've closed it and opened up the hub backup, you can go to library and you can see that I've got loads and loads of assets and I can add these to a project. So say I select this one and I can choose that I can add it to the project if I want. You may need to download them and that may take a while, depending on how big it is. I'm going to navigate to where my project is and where I've saved it. So I've just got Unreal Engine projects and my project is some assets that I've already imported. Now I'm going to create a new folder in here called plugins and then open that up and then I will cut Unreal to Unity out and I will put that in the folder because you'll be able to see it's a plugins folder with the folder inside Unreal to Unity with all the plugins inside there. And then once you've installed that plugin, within the folder that your project is located, you can just open the project up in the Unreal browser and it will have the plugin already installed. So I'm in the abandoned hospital here and it's a really nice pack that I want to try and take out to Unity. So I can click the drop down here and try and click export. Do I want to export to built-in universal? I'm gonna build out the universal render pipeline. You can output the directory to wherever you want this to be. I'll just leave it there for now. You can choose to use standard shaders if you want. You can export vertex shaders, export brushes, export a skinned meshes. You can leave most of it by default and you can actually choose if you want to export all animations too. Then you can hit OK and it will do some compilation in the background. Once it's completed the compilation, you will see that it uses and you will need Unity 2021 0.2 as a minimum and you can press OK and it'll be exported to my C drive like it said so Unreal to Unity and then it comes with the actual Unity project and then when I open that project in Unity Hub it will say that it's I'm missing the editor version because it's a slightly older version than I actually had but I've got a newer one here I can use 2021 or 22 so I will upgrade to 22.3 which I've currently got 
and I'm going to open and then I'm going to say change the version and then I'm just going to say to continue. And then when you finally get the project open, because this was a big one, around eight gigabytes worth of the original Unreal Engine, this is inside Unity. And bear in mind, it doesn't have all of the lights and the lighting environment that it did. But as you can see, we could fully move around this level with every single asset exported, even with the custom materials that it has. So we can go down all the corridors with every single thing that was actually in that project itself. And the good thing is it comes with a bunch of shaders. It comes with the original scene. Also comes with all the different prefabs that were exported. So you can just drag them and use them in your scene anytime you want. And it even comes with all the LODs too. So all the LODs that reduce the quality of the asset at a certain distance, all exported. You may need to do some optimizations across different assets. Let's say we take this little trolley that's fallen over or the treatment table and you can see it here. It's got the LODs and it's got all the different versions of LODs. Now you can see that it comes with a material and this is the custom material that was built out if we didn't use the standard material and it comes with the textures already built in for URP. Of course, this won't be absolutely perfect, but it's an extremely good start on getting things created for your project. So I'm going to show you the more of the manual way that we can actually export things from Unreal Engine. And I do have a full video from it, which I'll link, which talks about the textures, talks about the models and everything. So in this hospital pack, I'm going to go to the environments and I'm going to go to the assets and I've got some meshes and I'm going to go to props and this one, which is fridge fridge here. In this case, I'm going to have to export models and stuff separately. So if I really want some of these assets and I want say this fridge, we can go to right click it, asset actions and just choose export. It's called SM underscore fridge and I will save it there. Then we can choose what version of FBX we want to use. Usually a good one is 2013. We can choose what format if we need it in the ASCII format. Vertex colors, a level of detail can be exported. Collisions can be exported and other things like that. And I'll just click export on this asset. And then if you actually want to export materials, you could just search for, because we exported the fridge, I could go to the fridge and you can see that I might want the fridge diffuse, normal, ambient occlusion, or the other maps that are there. And we can right click the same as those, go to asset actions and choose to export. Now the diffuse, normal, and ambient occlusion are perfect for use in Unity. Now Unreal Engine uses an ORM map which is a combination of metallic roughness and ambient occlusion. Export this one out, and I show you that in Photoshop, it will look like this. It will look like a weird green and red looking map. You can see if I go to my channels, so as you can see that the red channel here is normally ambient occlusion, the green channel is roughness, and the blue channel is metallic. Now, I did have the tutorial, like I mentioned, to be able to take the, both the roughness and the metallic, Convert those to use them in Unity's standard shader if you need to do that. But with the asset we used in Unity, it does allow us to use the ORM map out of the box. But of course, you can import all of your assets into Unity as you would normally, then create yourself a new material and use the maps as you want. Yes, the way that I've shown is individual assets and it would take much longer. But again, it depends if you want to grab lots of assets or you just want very much individual assets themselves. So I hope you get a look at this awesome bundle. You take a look at the asset if you're interested, and maybe you can take some awesome Unreal Engine developed assets and use them in your own games too. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 205 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And do be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and even this bundle today down below. And check out my website to get my Unity assets for 20 to 30% cheaper than the Unity Asset Store. Big thanks to all my patrons, big thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.